Hey Lynx Riders, Ross Robinson here, Lynx Ambassador, and today we're going to show you how and when to replace the Hyfax or slider shoes on your Lynx snowmobile. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to get the latest Lynx snowmobile how-to content and insider information. The Hyfax, also called slider shoes, on your Lynx snowmobile run along the bottom of the rear skid rails. They help the track move smoothly around the skid so you can get maximum performance out of your sled. Like a drive belt, track, or wear bars on your skis, the Hyfax has a usable life and they require occasional replacement. As a track spins while you ride, it kicks up snow on the Hyfax to add lubrication between the Hyfax and the metal track clips. If you're riding in low snow or icing conditions, your Hyfax will wear more quickly than riding in loose snow. Knowing when to change your Hyfax is quite simple. If you look along the outside edge, you'll see the lines that run the full length. This is the wear indicator. If your Hyfax is worn to or past this line, it's time to change them out. Changing them out is quite easy as well. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver, center punch, mallet, pliers, handsaw, and silicone lubricant. Before we do anything, we wanna make sure we remove the tether from the snowmobile. With your snowmobile turned off and the tether cord removed, the first step is to lift the rear of the snowmobile so the track is off the ground. This can be done with a track stand or a properly rated hoist. The next step is to remove the screw that runs through the front of the Hyfax holding it in place. With the rear of the sled lifted, turn the track by hand until one of the track windows aligns with the screws allowing you to access it from below. Make sure not to lose this nut as it is inside the rail. Place your center punch into the screw hole and tap it with a mallet towards the rear of the skid until you can grasp the back end of the Hyfax with the pliers and pull it out the back through a track window. You may have to twist the Hyfax as you're pulling to free it through the track window. Your new Hyfax may not come pre-measured to the exact size, so you'll need to measure the new Hyfax against the one you just removed. Mark it at the same length and cut it to the correct size with your handsaw. Double check that you're not cutting it at the end with the hole. Now that your new Hyfax is cut to the right size, apply a small amount of silicone lubricant to the inside to help it slide onto the rail easier. To get the new Hyfax started, insert it through the track window at 90 degrees and twist it to proper orientation as you start to slide it down the skid rail. Continue pushing the new Hyfax forward on the rail until the screw hole aligns with the hole in the rail. You may have to use your punch and mallet to push it on the last little bit. With the holes aligned, reinstall the screw, nut, and tighten. You repeat the same process on the opposite side of the snowmobile. With a fresh set of Hyfax installed, you're ready for many more adventures on your Lynx snowmobile. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to receive more awesome Lynx owner content. You can also find more great content in the owner zone section of the Lynx snowmobile website. I'll see you on the snow.